Am I the asshole for changing plans on my best friend for my birthday weekend? Edit. I'm going to add some things because it looks like people are misunderstanding my wording. And I'm going to add fake names because it looks like it irritates having BFF and guy friend. Dot. Sorry, this is kind of long. This involves me, Jill and Jack, who I've been close to for seven years now. Jill left California and moved to Vegas with her husband a five years ago. I still see her at least ten times a year. When I'm in Vegas, I always make solo plans to see her and when she comes to visit me in, I bock off those days for her. Dot. Since my B-Day falls on finals week, college, my guy friend said we should go to Vegas the weekend after. I asked him if he was sure and he said yes, so I started making plans for my BFF to meet with me, possibly brunch or Area 15. Jill hates Jack so I have to plan things separately. There are also three other groups that will be in Vegas that weekend that want to spend time with me because it's my birthday, my cousin, my other cousin, and brother. I have to be super careful with planning because Jill doesn't like many people epsicially people that aren't in her GURP. Beginning of June Jack says that he might not do Vegas because plane tickets were expensive and he didn't want to drive. I took this as, he wasn't going. Dot. I decided to drive, I was panning to drive anyways, and since Jack wasn't going she offered to let me crash at her house the whole weekend. I had three people offering to let me crash with them, but Jill said it's just easier for me to stay with her. I told her I wanted to do Area 15 and the Omega Mart and she can decide what else to do since I wasn't picky, I go to Vegas every year for EDC and for other events. I also see her each time, plus Jill isn't a drinker and doesn't really go to clubs. So nothing has changed from the original plan. Plan was to do Area 15 on Friday and have Saturday open and have dinner with her family that night. This family dinner has nothing to do with me, it was planned already, I'm just there. I did let her know I wanted to get at least one drink with my family altogether. My brother let me borrow his car to get around so I wouldn't have to rely on Uber or Jill. Dot. On Monday, Jack decided to surprise me by letting me know he is going to Vegas. I flip out on him for planning everything so poorly and reminding him that Jill is going to lose her shit. He told me he was there for me and he can find something else to do while I hang out with Jill. I texted Jill to let her know my guy friend's surprise. She did not take it well. She says I'm always accommodating his needs and what he wants and we got into an argument. Dot. The argument. I tried to explain to her that nothing really changed and I'm still going by her time because he doesn't even land in Vegas until midnight. I asked her if I should tell him not to go anymore. Then she says, I know you want him here. I know deep down you do. It's fine because you don't have to stay at my house, you can get a hotel with him. He was actually planning on staying with my cousin but because of what she said I told him to get us a hotel. I feel so bad that I had to change plans on her but I tell her that we can have all of Friday together and we can do brunch on Saturday but I just won't be staying at her house or be going to dinner with her family. My guy friend wanted to take me to Expot which is a place I've been wanting to try also since I was free. My brother and his girlfriend and my cousin and his friends wanted to join us. Then she brought up how I'm supposed to be meeting up with my family, brother and cousins, who were also in Vegas and how I was going to include them in the new plan. I told her no one else has a problem with my guy friend expect for her and I wasn't planning on seeing my family because they all drink and she doesn't like that kind of atmosphere. Since I was already upset I told her since I don't have to spend my whole time with her anymore I can actually make time to see other people. I even asked her if she still wanted me to make time for her and I reminded her Friday was always her day and I wasn't planning on spending it with anyone. I asked her if she still wanted to see me for that weekend and she said yes. Dot. She's now making it difficult to plan next weekend. Instead of being free for most of Friday, she's only free after 5. Saturday she doesn't want to see me at all and when I asked her what she wanted to eat Friday night, she shut down all my ideas. Am I the asshole for changing our plans? Should I just tell my guy friend to not go anymore and just stay with her? You are the asshole. Your guy friend told you he wasn't going and you made plans with someone else. Now you are canceling on BFF to accommodate the person who said they weren't going in the first place. He changed his mind last minute. He is the one who should deal with the consequences of his actions having to pay for, stay in a hotel alone, not see you, etc. Not your BFF. You are the asshole that's a really disrespectful thing to do to your friend, after you already agreed to hang out with her and she planned a special event with her family, just because you want to go to a new restaurant with your BF? You seem like a bad friend and I bet she won't do anything like this for you in the future. You are the asshole. You are the asshole. 
You made plans for your BFF to accommodate you, and she has rearranged her schedule to do so. You shouldn't change plans on someone so quickly. I would be upset too, if I was her. Also, your guy friend sounds like a nice guy TM. He's been hanging around for 7 years waiting for you to notice what a nice guy he is and declare your love for him. I suspect that BFF picked up on this from the start and that's part of the reason she doesn't like him. You are the asshole. Okay so it's that guy friend who decided to give a surprise. The plans you made with your BFF beforehand just gonna go waste cause of that. Not her fault at all and naturally she's going to feel bad. Anyone would. That's breaking of promises YK. She might not trust you in future. Let that guy friend reschedule the stuff for some other time. Info. Why specifically does your BFF hate your guy friend? You are the asshole you are being given free accommodation by someone who has set aside time to be with you, and you're blowing them off to spend time with someone you can see basically anytime. It's rude. You are the asshole. I would also maybe include guy friend as an asshole for flip-flopping on the plans, but he did also tell you that he'd do something else while you were with BFF. You didn't actually have to change any established plans, you chose to do that yourself. You are the asshole. I would be upset too if you changed plans on me. Am I the asshole, 21 male, for getting mad at my mother, 48 female, for buying a boat? Too long did not read. My mother set aside money for me to go to law school. When I decided not to go, she spent the money on a boat without telling anyone. For starters I love my mother, and no this wasn't something that came from ill intentions. I'm just hurt that I wasn't involved in the process. We never had much money growing up i.e. living off SNAP and other welfare benefits, so when my mom started dating her current boyfriend, our lifestyle changed quite dramatically. He's very well off, so it wasn't much of a surprise that at the beginning of the year she told everyone, me and my twin brother and little half-sister eight female, that she was moving in with her now fiancé. We were all very happy for her. It had been my dream for most of my life to become a lawyer. I was on a pre-law track at my inexpensive state school, and went as far as studying for the LSAT before I realized law wasn't for me the day of the test, prior to taking it law. My mom has always been one of my biggest supporters, so because she was selling her house, property she inherited, and moving in with her fiancé instead of buying a new house, she told me that she would set aside money for law school, around 40k. Obviously this was really exciting news to me, and was more than anything I was expecting, in that I wasn't expecting any help on law school. My mom took it hard that I decided not to go to law school. She was vocal about concerns with pay for my new career choice, urban planning. She never said anything about the money set aside for law school however. It came as a surprise to me and my siblings when one day, out of the blue, she sent us a picture of a boat with the caption, say hello to the newest member of our family. Dot. I would be lying if I said I didn't have extremely mixed emotions. I really enjoy being on the water and so does my mother who's made it clear owning a boat is one of her life dreams. I felt like I needed to talk with her about the finance of it though as she's made really reckless decisions in the past that have negatively impacted all of us. Without me mentioning the law school money my mom brought it up straight away, saying, I used that money to buy the boat since you're not going to law school anymore. I told her that I was hurt that she didn't even include me in any way until Penn was to paper on the deal. I was really hurt by the casual way in which she brought it up, as we hadn't even discussed anything regarding the money since I diverted from law school a month prior, I was still at school. Part of my issue is that I need to go to graduate school still for my current path, and that money would have gone a long way. I also acknowledge that I'm not owed anything by her, but I really took issue with being left out of the loop on the decision. I haven't been in close contact with her since that conversation. I feel like an asshole because her feelings are clearly hurt but my friends seem to think I'm somewhat justified in my initial reaction. Edit, clarification. The money from the house was split three ways 5-0, 3-0, 2-0 with the half going to miscellaneous, closing expenses as well as savings, 30% place in a college savings account, and 20% set for law school. Which I now see to mean law school not grad school generally which is why Ida. Edit 2. The money set aside for my sister wasn't touched for the purchase but I don't see that as an issue. Definitely see the light that Ida in this situation. Final edit. Thank you Reddit. I'm gonna call my mom and apologize. Will reply with a picture from the boat. You are the asshole. Your mother have saved 40k for your law school. You change your mind. That's okay. But after that she can do what she want with her money. You are the asshole. The money was earmarked for a purpose. 
It was always her money. You changed your mind. She decided to treat the whole family with her money. She did something kind. You are the asshole and she was kind to the family. I hope school goes well for you. You are the asshole you point out that owning a boat was a lifelong dream for your mother. When she unexpectedly found herself with enough money to purchase a boat, she selflessly set aside that dream to financially support your nearly lifelong dream of become a lawyer. You changed your mind and no longer wanted to fulfill that lifelong dream, so she fulfilled hers. Dot. It is incredibly selfish for you to be mad at her instead of happy for her. Your mother does not owe you any explanation or say in spending her own money that you refused. Yta. The money was set aside for your dream of years, not your dream of five minutes. So instead she used it on her dream of years. That's reasonable. You are the asshole, not your money equals not your choice. Get over it. You are the asshole. She saved it for you to go to law school, and you decided not to. That's fine, but you can't expect her to pay for graduate school for you just because she had money around. Would it have been nice of her? Sure. But you're not entitled to the money just because it was originally meant for you. Depends on how mad you got but my initial reaction is you are the asshole. Did she have 40 grand ready for your siblings? Why do you deserve that kind of money instead of something that your whole family can enjoy? She told you clearly what the money was for and you changed those plans so she owes you zero explanation on what she does with it. You are the asshole you acknowledge she doesn't owe you anything therefore you don't have a right to get angry at her decision. It's her money it's her choice. Even if you were still planning on going to law school she would have been well within her right to spend that money on something else if she wanted to. Am I the asshole for crying when my sister left my baby announcement? English isn't my first language. My sis, 30 female, and I, 28 female. Both have infertility, it took me 6 years to have a baby and her 3. After having my first babe and a miscarriage I was told that I could only try one more time due to medical reasons. If anything happened, miscarriage or stillbirth. That was just too bad, one more try. I got pregnant quickly the second time and am 15 weeks pregnant with my last chance baby. We waited until 15 weeks to tell my family because my sister believed that a baby less than 15 weeks, isn't a baby and is just a clump of cells, her words. When we announced it at a dinner with my whole family she jumped up and ran out sobbing loudly and stayed outside. Her boyfriend went with her, sobbing for about 40 minutes before leaving. Her boyfriend told us that she was two weeks pregnant and had miscarried but they had planned on keeping it a secret. While she was outside we all sat around quietly and my parents talked about how awful it all was. I excused myself and went to the bathroom to cry. I was very quiet, nobody knew except my eyes were red. My parents think I am asshole for crying because I wasn't the one who had lost a baby. But I am heartbroken for a couple of reasons 1. I think a loss is a loss no matter how far along you are. 2. I know her pain and 3. And this is where I feel I am in awe. I'm sad that she ruined my announcement. She knew this was my last chance baby, that I could never have this moment again, that I could never share this exciting news with my family again. When our positions were reversed I celebrated with her, smiled and squealed etc then cried alone later. She doesn't know that I cried for weeks after and she never will because I couldn't take that joy from her or steal that moment. She also went on to publicly announce the loss and message everyone. Her boyfriend said that they were going to keep it to themselves but she knew we were announcing and couldn't bear the thought of everyone knowing about our baby but not theirs, so we have had to put off announcing because I feel it would be cruel. She has also gone on to ignore me since then, two months, and refuses to see or speak to me and is putting daily Facebook posts up about how scared she is of other people's pregnancy announcements which makes me feel like I can't announce. I'm feeling very heartbroken and sad but also frustrated at her which makes me feel bad. I haven't said anything to her other than to let her know I'm here for her and I won't but I feel like she's trying to stop me from having this and my parents are calling my asshole for being sad and crying that night. I feel like I'm a horrible person and my parents keep saying I am so I need to know am I the asshole for feeling hurt and crying that night? Edit. I want to thank everyone for their comments and thoughts. I have gotten a lot of helpful advice re. The announcement and some really amazing, kind feedback. I think it's okay for us all to have feelings about what happened. I don't blame her, I'm just sad and that's okay. I've also messaged her and said, hey sis, hope you're okay. Thinking of you right now and sending my love. I just want to let you know that before I post our announcement on Facebook I will text you first so you know it's coming. I don't want to blindside you or hurt you. You know we are here if you need anything. Love you so much, hopefully that helps and thanks again for the advice.
not the asshole you're absolutely allowed to feel all the feelings you described, and cry accordingly. Nothing wrong with that at all. No assholes here although she's kinda wandering into asshole territory for me. Grief does funny things to a person. Give her space and let her come back to you on her own terms. But don't feel like you can't announce your pregnancy or celebrate. In my opinion you should either a, uh, gently let her know the day before you announce so she can be prepared or not log into Facebook or b, share it but hide it from her and her boyfriend specifically. Or do a combination of both. Hey. I wanted you to know I'm sharing my announcement but I know you're having a hard time with announcements because of your earlier posts so I'm going to hide it from you. I just wanted you to know in case you hear about it from other people. Not the asshole. Her feelings are as valid as yours and vice versa. She couldn't mask how upset she was at your announcement, but that doesn't mean she was upset to spite you. Edit. Her initial reaction when you announced your pregnancy was understandable but her trying to guilt you into never announcing your baby online puts her into asshole territory. Congratulations on your baby. Not the asshole. What the ever-loving fuck is wrong with your family? Your most joyous announcement is ruined by sister leaving, and you're supposed to just smile and be fine with that? You are allowed to feel your own feelings. Not the asshole but you sisters are missing a chance to become closer. You know how she feels like nobody else can. She knows how you feel too. You are not the asshole to count your sister's loss as your own, you're loving and compassionate. I will go with a naw. Your feelings are legit but her feelings too. She is not the asshole for having miscarriage shortly, you not for not knowing that and so on. Life happens and this is not always happiness and joy. P.S. I can understand that having babies is important, but in your story it seems to be a very center of your both lives. Wanting something too much can cause such situations like this one not the asshole. I was leaning no assholes here for the initial tears on both ends. I've had several losses. Sometime you can hold the grief in and sometimes it just takes over. But her behavior afterward was far beyond the pale. NTA. You can barely test positive at two weeks. Most miscarriages happen at the first couple weeks and most people don't even notice or just assume it's a false positive. And I say this as someone who miscarried at three quarters of a week. Am I the asshole for wanting my girlfriend to wear adult diapers? I'm a 26 yo male, my girlfriend, 23, of 3 years has shown some changes in her bodily functions. At least once a week she wets the bed. It all started a few months ago. I used to wake up in the middle of the night, help her clean herself up, strip the bed and lay down towels to absorb what was left but I don't anymore. It started happening more and more frequently. Well this fine morning I wake two hours before I need to, to the warm wet embrace that is her wetting the bed in her sleep again. I scoot closer to the edge of the bed on my side and I wake her, let her know she just wet the bed again and roll over to go back to sleep. She notices and starts scooting over towards me. I told her no, she needs to stay on her side of the bed. She got upset that I wanted her to stay in her urine and got up, went to the restroom, came back about 10 minutes later and threw a towel over it all and got back in bed. So now today, I told her I believe it's due to her alcohol consumption right before bed but she refused to give up the bottle. She says this should be a judgment-free zone and if she wants to drink in her own home at night she should be allowed to do so. I told her the drinking is fine but to just lower the amount. I wasn't trying to ban her from alcohol but this phrasing now makes me think I might should? Like she might have a slight addiction. Anyways. I suggested next then we either get bed pads for her to lay on at night or adult diapers for her to wear to bed or maybe even do both, she's a heavy wetter. She wouldn't have to wear them during the day obviously, just going to bed at night. She said that it's too embarrassing to even be asked to wear them and that it's out of the question and stormed out of the room. I can tell she's upset with me over it all, but I'm tired of waking up covered in pee. I'm upset too and I feel she's not trying to do anything to fix her bladder problems. So Reddit I ask you, am I the asshole? Edit one for those commenting on the smell. I deep clean furniture for a living ironically and thankfully. Getting urine out of a mattress is nothing new to me. Just tired of waking up in it and having to deep clean so frequently in my own home. I'm a little more than a clean freak but not quite a germaphobe. Edit two she does have other mental health issues, trying to keep some details to a minimum because she uses Reddit as well. Edit 3 There's a been plenty of red flags and plenty of reasons for me to leave her. I don't for one simple reason. Love is blind. It may sound cliche but I love her and want to help her work through her problems. It is a very long uphill battle getting her to want to help herself. 
She has experienced several traumas in her life. She sees a therapist but her visits died to only once monthly, sometimes once every two months due to the pandemic. I want to talk to her about talking with her therapist about all this to see if she could shine some light on it for her but I honestly don't know if she'd be too embarrassed to tell her that she wets the bed now on top of her other issues she has with her mental state. Not the asshole but also what the fuck. Why is a grown woman wetting the bed on a weekly basis and seems to be entirely unconcerned about it and has no desire to find a solution? Not the asshole and your girlfriend should see a doctor. It isn't normal for an adult to wet the bed on a regular basis and needs to be looked into. Not the asshole. Having a urine-soaked bed is a problem and you're trying to explore solutions. Your girlfriend is an alcoholic and does not want to talk about it. A person who will not experiment with reducing her drinking in order to avoid wetting the bed has a problem. She needs to talk with her doctor, for that, and in case the wetting is also an indication of other medical problems, and get counseling. Most definitely due to alcohol. Had a friend at uni that did this. Not the asshole but also she needs to either stop drinking or go see a drive. Not the asshole. Embarrassing to wear adult diapers? Is she not embarrassed when she wets the bed? It is your bed too and she needs to start taking responsibility for this. Whether it is the alcohol or another underlying issue she need to stop drinking or see a doctor. Not the asshole. It's interesting that you are downplaying her drinking. If her incontinence is alcohol related and not due to another health issue you do know she has a drinking problem. You need to look at your role in the relationship and how your behavior enables her addiction. The destroyed mattress is just a symptom of much deeper issues. Not the asshole but WTF? There are some serious issues underlining this situation which need to be examined ASAP. Doctor and alcohol quitting in that order. Not the asshole. She has no concept at all that it isn't normal for an adult to wet the bed regularly like that? Your last paragraph makes it sound like she is has an alcohol problem.